it steps in here, attaches to the top here and pulls up. And then on the inside here, we're gonna get belly button running down. And basically from this point, we can draw down to here. And from this point, we can draw down to here. And what that gives us is kind of a front plane and these two side planes to the, the abdominals here. And now there's kind of a, you know, of course we have like a six pack and whatnot, but the major grouping I would say you want to look for is going to be at the top running to the belly button. It kind of dives in. And then from there, in the belly button here, we have a little bit of a lip here that pulls out. So this is turning down. See you guys. Good night. So that's kind of the major um, break in the form. So you, let's see, if we're drawing this out here, excuse me, I'm get behind from kind of the three quarters view. And then we have this box kind of dropping down here. Opening here, the neck. This will open up into the sternum here. Here's that corner. So on these on these corners here, these are gonna step in a little bit. And we have this wedge here, and on this corner here, driving down to center. That's where the legs attach. Three finger gap. Um, and so from this edge here, pulling down, we're gonna get the form of the obliques riding down in this corner is going to pull inward. So this basically gives us kind of a front plane to the obliques. And on this side here we have the same deal where this cuts in. And we get this bulging out. And then on the inside here, what I'll tend to do is um, figure it out from center where we step in and we step down for the belly button. And then we step out and this wedges back in. So from this view, we're probably going to be seeing this form um, kind of obscure some of the oblique here. And this again is kind of the dividing line. So this will run down here to here to give us that kind of front and then side plan here. So the key is just remember to connect the dots here. So if we have like a twisting so this may be turning out here, and then we transition down here, make that rib cage. I think this is also why it's important to indicate that side plane, so we know that this is turning this way, and on the, um, the hip box here, this is going to be turning the opposite direction. Kind of an extreme example, I guess. But from corner here, this is going to step in, step in. And again, this edge we can attach here. And this is going to be twisting out here. From this corner we can attach here. And it's going to be twisting inward. And again, there's still that kind of front plane. Oh. And then this is going to wedge in. And so again, like let's follow center. So the belly button is going to be pulling out. Uh, maybe it's going to shift out this way here. And so from point to point here, point to point. And in this case, we're probably getting a pinch, so we're just going to see that bend. But we're going to see the side plane twist with that. Oh well, um, but you get the idea. So it's just about connecting these corners to this wedge, really. And that's basically all I talked about, because 
last week we were just kind of focusing again, like just doing more torso drawings. Oh, okay. um, so that was the homework is 50 torsos, including like the abdominal area here. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.